In this video, I'm gonna break down for you how to use placement exclusion lists inside of Google Ads. More on that right after this. So as you guys can see, I've been sweating here, working all day to try and make life easier for you inside of Google Advertising. And one of the things that makes a really big difference are these things called placement exclusion lists. So placement exclusion lists are great because they allow you to go through and exclude placements on YouTube and GDN that you've already proven to not make you any money. So with any video or website, you can determine if that particular piece of content is helping you create conversions or if it's simply wasting your money. So inside of our courses on YouTube and the Google Display Network, we have built-in blacklists for you. Those are our exclusion lists. So Google Display Network, we have 65,000 websites. And inside of YouTube, we have almost 1,000 channels that focus on toys and games. Um, those we found with YouTube are a huge problem because parents hand their devices over to their kids. So kids like to sit down and watch toy reviews. They like to watch people play games like Overwatch. And we don't want to be wasting our money on those placements, especially if that's not the, the group that we're really catering to. And so what I'm going to do is show you the process of what you have to do to set up these placement exclusion lists, and then it's really easy to add them to your campaigns. So what I did, I'm in here in my AdWords account, and if I click on the tools, right here you've got placement exclusion list. That's how I got here. And what I want to do is come in and create a new list. And so uh, you can come through, you can try and upload it. We found it doesn't work very well, so this looks a lot easier for us. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call this YouTube Kids Blacklist. And all I'm gonna do is click here on Enter Multiple Placements. Now inside of our blacklist, this is, this is an example for our YouTube Kids Blacklist, you can see there's almost a thousand placements in here. All I'm gonna do is copy those, come back here and click uh, Paste, and then I'm gonna add those placements. And I'm pretty sure that only one of these is not working. So, okay, there's two now. These two placements are not working. And so these are all channels that I do not want to be advertising on. I've proven, I've either spent money or I've proven that they, they talk about toys or they talk about games. It's something I'm not interested in advertising on. I click save. And now this list, so anything that's leveraging audiences from your MCC, so if you've set the permissions to this manager, can now pull this into that account. So when I'm going through and setting up campaigns on YouTube, if I'm doing run of network, all I have to do is click the ex exclusion audiences and the placement list. Now I can add it to every single campaign. So you want to make sure you do this with our kids blacklist. It's available in the YouTube course and the 65,000 site placement blacklist that's available in the Google Display Network course. So this will be a pretty simple and easy process. If you have any questions, please ask that down below. You can also hit me up in Pro League if you're running into issues. I've also got another video that shows you how to do this from the MCC level with a script to apply that blacklist to all of your campaigns, but that's for another day. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, talk soon. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button on the screen right now. Also, if you'd like to join the Daily Edge and get the daily dose of what's working in paid traffic and tracking, you can text Daily Edge to 44222.